U.S. troops have conducted a strategic exercise in Niger, the commander of the U.S. Regional Force Commander said Thursday. The engagement across West Africa into Niger enabled the U.S. North and West Africa Response Force, NARF, to exercise its readiness by testing its operational reach throughout the region, said Major General Andrew Rowling. The strategic engagement in Niger took place from last Saturday to Monday. The NARF's mission is crisis and contingency response in North and West Africa, including to protect U.S. interests, the U.S. Army said in a statement. Rowling is commander of the U.S. Army's Southern European Task Force, Africa. More than 420 civilians have been killed in jihadist attacks in western Niger this year and tens of thousands of people have fled their homes, Human Rights Watch, HRW, said on Wednesday. Atrocities have also been committed in southeast Niger by Nigerian jihadists from Boko Haram and the Islamic State West Africa province, ISWAP. While in Niger, U.S. troops met informally with French military counterparts in Niamey. The French are important, long-standing allies who share our commitment to address complex security concerns in Africa, said Lt. Col. Kevin Ward, a battalion commander who attended the French-hosted meeting. It was estimated in 2017 that 800 U.S. troops, mainly special forces, mainly active against jihadist groups, were operating in Niger. France has announced a gradual reduction of its military presence in the Sahel region.